Well, throughout the rest of the show today, we're going to be celebrating Halloween here in Western New York, and that includes a look back at some spooky or festive stories we've done over the years. So right now, we're traveling up to Niagara Falls, where a man has been building up his backyard haunted house every year. It is going to be open to guests until 8 o'clock tonight. Here is what things looked like when most Buffalo's Nate Benson checked in on the Halloween of last year. Since I was the only one who wore a mask to work today, the producer said, hey, Nate, we're going to assign you to check out a backyard haunted house in Niagara Falls. Well, they say dress for the job you want. Meet Kyle Roberts. He owns a house on 93rd Street in Niagara Falls. Before he moved in, Halloween was... Very quiet. Very quiet. According to Jennifer Seymour, his neighbor who has lived on the street for 20 years. Kyle is into Halloween big time. It's just a passion. A passion that turned into a themed backyard haunted house, complete with rotating clown eyes, Ferris wheel and fire, and a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> it's the fear that was most fun, really. All right, that got me a little bit. It's not something you see in every yard. Um, I try and do something, you know, a little bit different. But it's the different that brought out hundreds of thrill seekers, young and old, to 93rd Street Halloween night. It was so much fun. It's not scared. I was a little scared. It was amazing. I love how the detail they put into everything. It's the details that takes Kyle the longest. Um, right after Halloween, I start the design process and sketches and some audio work. And then, uh, yeah, we start in April, and it's just a straight build up through Halloween up to the minute of trick-or-treating. Kyle's haunted house, though, hasn't been immune to the horrors of inflation. When I first started this, I mean, a two by three was like two bucks and a sheet of wood was like $8 and now it's up to $25 a sheet of wood, so. So mom set up her fortune teller's booth, not selling fortunes, but her famous almond sugar cookies to raise a few extra bucks for next year's haunt, a haunt that brings people in from all over. We have had people come all the way out from Wilson, which was pretty cool to hear. Well, you can see it brings everybody around over in this neighborhood and um, now around the block, everybody's starting to do it. We love it. We love it. We went from about 25 kids at Halloween to over 200. Which at the end of the day, the most important thing to Kyle is... Just give people good memories. It's a good sense of community. Kyle told me he's not only planning next year's haunted house, but the year after that. Reporting in Niagara Falls, Nate Boo, Sunday.